the easiest way to show you how the ramps work or spirals to take the 3D model and strip away all the necessary information so we're just left with the track beds and show you the two routes down from the scenic area to the storage below. Lose the branch line of coloured orange here, bye bye to that, and we will now colour the scenic area a turquoisey blue just so you can see the area which is landscaped. In this image, you've got the station area at the back and the new landscape at the front. You turn the corner and slowly descend down a slope until you get to the first tunnel mouth which is here in red. Having passed through the red tunnel mouth the track takes a sharp turn to the left and enters the first sort of slow turn of a spiral and comes round wrapping back on itself shown by the track bed coloured in orange here. It wraps round the outside of the second spiral which we'll deal with later and then returns across the face of the layout hidden underneath the scenic area in a long tunnel slot. Having traversed the entire length of the layout it then turns a sharp right and enters the shorter of the two spirals to descend down to the goods yard at that particular end of the layout and enters the lower storage area here indicated in green. Here's a complete route shown the uh, scenic track bed showing as well. Now if you leave the station going in the opposite direction you go across a bridge and almost instantly enter a tunnel. Here you go in and you enter the red spiral at the top then into the next part which I've coloured yellow to delineate it from the other and then round again and into the green zone and then round again into the blue zone and then round one final time and into the magenta zone which enters the uh, storage yard at the opposite end of the layout from previously shown again indicated here in green. Here's the whole series of uh, spirals shown again and finally all the backboards and structure being shown again. That's relatively straightforward and at the end of this I'll attach a, a film I shot of a locomotive with a camera mounted on the front that might give you a bit more of a clue how things work.